Kelly, and this is Brooke, and we are here to fun box Catan Starfarers. Ooh, the majesty. This is a new edition of a game that was published back in 1999. It's been out of print for a really long time, and we are so excited to bring it back for its 20th anniversary. It has completely redesigned art. New pieces, new motherships. Check out the back here. Nice. Ah, aliens. Aliens. And there is all sorts of great goodness in here. And for as much as the hobby has grown and all of the new game players that we have out, this is ready for a whole new generation of players to, to fall in love with. Can we open it? Yeah, let's open it. Ah! Do you want to do it? Oh, geez. This is going to be the hardest part because obviously. The plastic is very durable and very protective, and this is going to take like five hours. No. Ooh. It's like Christmas. I think you said seven pounds of space in a box. Yes. It weighs almost seven pounds. There's a lot of fun in this box. There's so much fun in this box. All right. Well, All right, let's do it. Oh, are these organizing trays? Organizing I am trays. so in love right now. Yes. A place for everything and everything in its place. It is so organized. Uh, oh my gosh. And it even has, I don't know if you can see, but it's got the exchange ratios right on there. So if you're doing resources, you know how many you can get in return for what you turn in. Yep. And I'm curious what this question mark is, but maybe we'll, we'll talk about that we later. We will talk about that. We certainly can. So. The rule book. This book is uh, fantastic to get you started with your first game. Basic overviews. This is a great place to set up your first game and get playing. The almanac is a little heftier, has a ton of details. Every question you have about this game is in the almanac. It really is everything that you need. Motherships, pirate bases. My question is, because um, Catan Inc. is my favorite Catan. Are there space llamas? No. There's not even sheep. Maybe for an expansion? Ooh. Sounds like a good. <laughs> Don't say it. Don't say it. I'm just nonsense. I'm, I'm just like, I'm just like a fan. Like, I could say all kinds of crazy things that will never come to be. If you say it, <laughs> suddenly there will be space llamas <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Which sounds amazing. We don't have space llamas, but we have amazing aliens. I'd love to meet them. All right, well, let's start out with some of this amazing punch. Oh board. my gosh, so much punch. Do you like punching out punch board? Yes, and it's actually, I have found the, the uh, aliens are right here. So I'm let's gonna start with those. Yeah, punch them out. And I found the alien outposts alien bases where they live, so I will punch them out and we can show them together. All right. Well, to introduce some aliens, these are the green folk, and this is where they live. They're green. They are green, hence the name. They're very happy looking, and I like them a lot. They help your planets to be more productive. You get more resources, that's what they help you do. The diplomats help you become more famous, and they help richer planets help poorer planets. They persuade, they're very diplomatic. They're the, net, they're the networking <laughs> Networkers. race. Networkers, yep. yep, yep, they're good. The merchants, the merchants help you in trading. They travel throughout the galaxy, making deals and trying to decide you know, what they can get from you, and if you make them mad, they might hurt your ship, so it's good to become friends with them. The scientists. The scientists have the best technological advances and help your motherships to become more efficient and help you move throughout the galaxy better. They also have the best hats. Yeah, so which one's your favorite? Oh, uh, I think I might have to go with the diplomats. Like, he's got a cape and. Yeah, he's stately. Like, yeah, he's got, and that really nice ruff behind him also mm -hmm. kind of looks like a dinosaur, which I think are pretty cool. Yeah. I kind of like the green folk. They're just so happy. They look like, I would like to hang out with friendly. them for a weekend. Yeah, 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 they look like they're a good party. All right. 
So, all of those over there that I see you started punching are planets, planetary planets. systems. Oh, which means we can talk about resources. Yeah, have you played Catan before? I have played Catan before. All right, so you know about hexes. Well, these are kind of like hexes, but they are planetary systems. And the color of the planet indicates what kind of resources they produce. These are set up a little bit different from the hexes that we're familiar with. You settle your space colonies in between the planets to determine what resources you're sitting on. And so we have all of these brand new colors, brand new resources, and these get spread out throughout this entire board. Another interesting thing. Yes, tell me about these. these. They look like medallions. They like what? Are. They are. This fame is something medals. I'm not familiar with from my Catan playing. These are fame medals. They come in halves, and so you start the game with one half of a fame medal. And based on the game and what happens in the game, you will acquire additional ones. And they come together to form one. And once they are together, they are a victory point. Oh, that's brilliant. They're super fun. Punch that up. Get 15 of them and win the game. <laughs> it's not a terrible strategy. All right, so we have even more. These are more punch board. But it's also Isn't the game that board. the game board? Oh, it's modular. So, to better fit in the box, obviously. But also, who doesn't like a good puzzle? Yes. That plastic down there. All right. So. Yeah, it's broken. All of these are fully recyclable, by the way. So, mm -hmm. don't throw these. Recycle them. We may be exploring space, but we still want to save our own planet. Mm -hmm. So I these are interesting because you need to watch out with these game boards. They're also punch board, but there are pieces on the inside that you need to keep. These are the number wow. indicators that go on the planets, the resource, then the rest of these will be, but keep the numbers and all the little um, indicators on the inside. So numbers on one side and then symbols on the other, which we'll explore later. These leftover pieces kind of remind me of fidget spinners. <laughs> oh no, we're gonna be here the whole time. <laughs> this is the best game ever! Good. All right, we did it. We did it! Oh. Victory. Oh. We almost did it. Okay. So now we get to explore this puzzle. And as you can see, just like in regular Catan, there are numbers, the bottom corner of the piece that indicate which pieces line up, you know, so that you're not left guessing. So one Fantastic. into one. And so on. Uh oh, yes, six and six. Fantastic. This one goes on the end here. Mm -hmm. Ta da! Our nice. Game and now you see what we punched out our little fidget spinner pieces are now homes to the planets. Oh, spectacular! So, as we explore and discover, mm -hmm. that's how we'll find them out. Yes. I'm arranging these planets by what they have on their back. Two stars indicates a more far space. You see this kind of nebula? They go beyond that. The one star is near space and they go here. Uh, there are several ways that we set up this board that make it more variable than the last one. So the old Starfarers of Catan was a pre-printed board that just folded out and everything was static. And the only thing that changed was the numbers on, on the planets. This is fully customizable. It can be changed. There is a starting setup in, defined in the rules, uh, or you can randomize it to your heart's content. You can also play the surprise version where everything is started upside down. And you don't know until you discover the planet. Until you discover the planet and then you flip over your things. And oh, I like that there. excitement. It's 
it's a lot more variable and fun. It adds just a whole bunch more excitement and cool things. So these go there. And you get these little alien planets go out there. The this best part. Oh my gosh. This is I think it's part. finally time this to talk about the I've best thing. This is the part I've been waiting for. Let's be honest. So I think the most exciting part of this game are the mothership. Mothership. I love it. It's so cool. I love it. So the old one, uh, Starfarers of Catan, the ships were notoriously fragile. Yeah, and, and plastics technology has come a long way in 20 years. That it's was supposed, supposed to happen. <laughs> yes. yes. It I is didn't supposed break to it. It's fine. No. You twist and pull. Oh my gosh, I'll show that you was why. so easy. Wait, there's more. There's more. Oh, see, I did it accidentally and now I can't do it. Oh, never mind. Got it. Got it. These are the stickers. I was very excited about the stickers when I was looking at the box, thinking that they would be amazing that I could put on my coffee mug or my laptop. Still amazing, not as exciting as I pictured. They go on the bottom. Oh. To indicate what player color oh my belongs gosh. to which. Yeah, so you can sticker one up if you want. Um, I think I'd like to be blue. Is blue your favorite player color? Um, out of this range, normally I go with purple. Yeah, I've got a custom Catan wood set that's purple. And that's, yeah, that's the one we like. So. Well, oh, oh, let me see if I can take this off on command. I can. This yeah. is, see, it's so easy. I could even do it on purpose. Ah, there it is. So the fun thing about these ships is that you take these little color indicator balls and you put them in here. But wait, I can see two of them on the yes. bottom. And those will indicate your ship strength or your ship speed, or they will make you have encounters with aliens. They, they determine a lot of what happens in a game. And one fun thing about these. They look like candy, but don't eat them. Do not eat them, please. <laughs> they do look cute though. Just like you wouldn't eat rocket fuel. The, yeah, it's don't basically rocket eat fuel. The rocket fuel. And what they do is they snap in here. <laughs> and Oh, orange and blue. I don't know what that means, orange but I'm yellow. excited. Each color of ball indicates a number for movement, and then you add them together and they tell you how far your ships fly on your turn. Fantastic. Yeah. You want to see what else we can do with these motherships? Yes. All right. How do you like some firepower? I'm sorry, but did you say accessorize? Yes. These are cannons. And oh, yep, yeah, pew, pew. They go right in oh, here. Oh, right on the top. Yep. And, and so <clears throat> they don't fall out. out. And they don't. Yeah, they were, like I said, they were notoriously fragile. And so we've been, you know. Testing these pretty thoroughly to make sure that they are. Oops. Oops. I'm not going to throw it, but. No. No, I don't recommend, but they are nice and sturdy and loud. I love it. Yeah. So. What else? How else can I dress up my mothership? How about boosters? Boosters, they can go faster and further. Yes. Boosters help you fly faster. Here, a few for me. Oh, these are great. Yeah, a few for me. And they just oh my gosh, pop each ship could have like six. Yeah. It's so ridiculous and amazing. And so your movement, if you get a base movement of three, you add one for each booster that gets you up to six. That's a pretty good move on board. So um, oh, very highly doing? recommend upgrading boosters. But wait, there's more. There are freight pods. Freight pods let you settle. Um, and meet with your friends. with alien friends. The more freight pods you have, the more places you can uh, interact and trade with uh, with your alien um, peoples. And it also helps you terraform ice planets, things like that. So these are pretty tricked out. Yeah. Yeah. Check that action out. I got cannons. I got boosters. I got storage pods. I'm ready to go. I know. It's so fun. Ah, great. <laughs> They're so great. Okay, let's see what else. 
Oh, another thing these things do. These great uh, little storage oh containers we were looking at before. Oh, I think I got one of the wrong ones. <laughs> Cards go in one of these. <laughs> there. See? So now they're not all over the table. So much organization. So great. It makes my heart very happy. Speaking of, <gasps> Cards. that looks like the right size to fit in that yeah. tray spot. These are an assortment of cards. And you've got resources. I've cards. got resources. We can talk about resources. All right. <laughs> so, five resources. Yeah. Or, oh. which comes from Red Planets, fuel, golden, yellow planets, carbon, which is blue, and maybe this is that crystalline substance that they used for space travel that got us out of our solar system to begin with. Indeed. Green, space salad, mm -hmm. food. And goods, which um, pretty nifty magenta sort of golden. Yeah, kind of stripey. Color. Yeah, it, that reminds me of Jupiter. And then these conveniently go oh my in gosh, the card they go tray. In the tray. Are these all? Which one yes. is, is goods the two for goods one? Goods is trades two for one. Because it's more than one color. That's, that's a good way that, to remember That's it. not actually why, but well, I can see how it's notice, more processed. Well, as you there are no trade ports on the board. Oh. Right? You don't have like a sheep harbor in space. And so the goods, that two for one trade kind of takes that, that place instead. They could have a space llama harbor. Just saying. Ideas for Klaus. The question marks. At the beginning yes. of the game, oh. we take eight resources. I'm just going to do three for time's sake. Eight of each type. And you shuffle them all together. And it makes a special little bonus pile that on your turn, you collect an extra resource from. And then that time. randomizes it. Yep. Love it. It, it helps especially in the beginning of the game, get things moving a little faster. You might see on the, the board here, when you're from four to seven victory points, you get two of these cards every turn on your turn. Oh. And when you have eight or nine victory points, you collect one on your turn. And then once you get up into 10 to 15, you don't need help from the Catanian colonies anymore. You don't need these helper cards, but these help with the resource production before you start building a lot of colonies. So you shuffle them up, place them face down, and then it's a it's a little surprise, a pleasant little bonus surprise. All right. All right. So we've got a player board. We've got these amazing yes. motherships. Tell me more. How about player pieces? Yeah. We have four player colors because this game plays for three to four people. I think I think I'm gonna go with yellow because I feel like they'll show up better. An idea. I think you might as well just take out the red too. Oh, might as well. All right. Okay, so. well, look at these little guys. Em and guess are so adorable. And that is a colony compared with a trading outpost. Trading outpost is a little smaller. They both have it's these kind nice. of little sticks poking out of the end. And I'll show you why. Ooh, oh, the red one. There's more. Oh my gosh, there's more. I'll show you why there's little sticks coming out of them. Because your <gasps> transport ship goes right on there. No like way, that. it yeah. docks. Oh, this is the coolest thing. No, this is the coolest thing. This is also very cool. And so, when you have your little ships, they fly. They fly across the board like ships in space. Oh, the drama. So I love cool. it. There are also shipyard rings that once you, excuse me, Box, once you settle your, you wouldn't do this on an empty space, but put it around like that and then you have a space port, which is worth two victory points. So if you think of these as settlements, or then upgrading to like city. 
And then these trading ships go to meet the aliens and get you special benefits and powers. Fantastic. So that's how you build mm -hmm. a relationship with the aliens and get those extra special. Extra bennies. More resources. Networking. Yeah. Let's check those out. So we have cards. And there are several cards per alien civilization. And once you reach those civilizations and, and you put your trading outposts there, you can choose one of these cards and the benefits that it provides. Yeah, check out Zuzo. He gives me a two to one exchange rate for carbon. And during my trade and build phase, you may trade carbon with supply at a rate of two to one. Two carbon for one other resource of your choice. How about Reba? Oh. Who gives you fame for sale? During your turn, you may buy one half a fame medal for one trade good. If that's not a way to buy your way to fame, I don't know what is. No kidding. Yeah. Reba is a good, good alien to know as well. Let's see. Um, I'm going to check out the scientists. Again, best hats. Well, and I didn't realize, it, but it makes complete sense that the scientists um, influence your mothership upgrades. So I picked out Asabar, great hat. Improved upgrades, booster and cannon. Both the speed and the combat strength of all your ships increase by plus one. This effect begins immediately. So a great way to get that little extra something something when you're up against space pirates or you're trying to colonize quickly. Yes, indeed. All right, cool. So we also have these cards that when you kind of hold them out, they look amazing. <gasps> that is a great surprise. They are your turn overview, building costs, and victory point cards. They are there by your side throughout the game to help you remember how the turns go. The turns are a little bit more complicated than uh, base Catan or even Rise of the Incas. So it's remembering exactly what you're supposed to do when. Your building cost card just reminds you what things cost when you want to buy them. And then a little victory point card to remind you how much everything's worth. And how many victory points do you need to win? Fifteen. Fifteen. I remember that. I wrote it down. <laughs> it's also here along the point track, so you just can't forget. Nope. Right there. There are even little markers. Oh. So you know who's got how many points all the time. All right. So I was curious. Okay. So I shook my mothership, and I got orange and black, which is very seasonally appropriate, but it also means that I would be going through an encounter. Yes. So tell me more about that. These encounter cards come with all different kinds of scenarios and things that could happen to you and they have you make a choice. And depending on what choice you make, that affects your game and things will happen to you that are good or bad. All right. All right, give me one. Here's one. I'm ready. You encounter a merchant. Offer zero to three resources as a gift. Pay your offering to the supply before continuing. Oh, well, I remember from before that we talked about if the merchants think that you're not awesome, they might hurt you. Mm -hmm. So, but I don't know this guy. So maybe, okay, I'll choose two. Okay, so you would put them back into the supply and then the merchant turns out to be a pirate in disguise. Do you attack? Oh my god. Um Yeah, I mean I feel like my my uh ship is kind of tricked out right now. Yeah, indeed. Actually, no, mm. because for some reason I took off all of my cannons. What if you had this one? Oh my gosh, maybe if I had this ship, yes. Yes. A hundred percent. Let's do it. All pirate. Right. You fight. The player to your left takes the role of the pirate. Shake your respective motherships and compare the mothership strength. You are kind of to my left if we go all the way around the, the table. I am the most leftist you And have. I'm very confident. <laughs> I'm very confident now that you have my okay. ship with no cannon. All right, so I get zero plus two, so I get two. I get one plus zero plus three, so. You have four. I have one handily, I think. Yeah, so is your result equal or greater to the other players? It yes. is greater. Victory. <gasps> You get your resources back and receive one fame medal piece. Oh. And so add that to your other half of fa fame medal, and you've got another victory another point. Another victory point. Wing. 
just that easy. These are so fun. Because you never know what they're going to be. Really excited about, like, some really great ones. and the storytelling aspect of these, yeah. too. Yeah. It's so well, cool. And if you like, can do voices. Oh, my gosh. I can't do voice. I would I try. I don't do voices. I would try but so you hard. But I love it. It's got little fl flow charts that when you decide, you decide what goes next. Space Pirate demands two of your resources. Oh, my gosh. It's like this just happened. Do you surrender them? No, you fight! Or, victory! I love this. This is great, and the art is so, so good. I think good. they're so pretty. And everything is just really modern, but also kind of classic and imaginative. I don't know if you've ever seen an alien. I haven't. I, I haven't personally, except for in the movies. But I believe this is what they look like. I would hope so, they look very nice. So, all right, so I recognize, you know, nice hats, networkers, but then tell me about, like, we've got this mysterious figure on this card that I don't recognize from anything else that we have yeah. talked about. The Travelers are a special alien civilization. They're not represented on the board or with little friendship tokens because they are mystical and mysterious and they give you really great benefits when you have uh, encounters with them if you don't anger them because they can curse you. Great. But they can also give you space jumps. Oh. Which means you can move anywhere on the board that you want. Or sometimes they give you like a whole trade ship and then you can put a whole ship on the board without buying it. Like some pretty good benefits for making friends with, with travelers. They are mysterious and cool. Well, thanks, Brooke, for joining me for the fun boxing. Thank you so much for having me. There was so much fun in this box. It's so much fun in this box. We fit the whole of space of fun in this box. We're so excited. This is going to be coming out in November. You can pick it up at your friendly local game store. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye.